What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Pokemon Red in the last part we got we reached uh sell, We stole a little bit of Celanos and he got two brand new team members that I raised a little bit off screen and uh This is our Jolteon and uh This is our Doduo so uh yes the Doduo was actually like three levels away from evolving so uh Pretty solid so um what we're gonna do in this part is uh, you see these team rockets over here uh we're gonna go investigate this little area over here. Now, um, the Celadon game corner lets you go to, for prizes. So basically, uh, a coin case is required. I forgot about that. So, uh, thankfully, I know where to get the uh, coin case. It's actually uh, on the south bit of uh, Celadon City. Celadon City is also one of my favorite areas in the whole game, let's just say. But uh, we actually get from this guy over here. Go ahead, laugh. I'm flat out busted. No more slots for me. I'm going straight. Here, I won't be needing this anymore. We receive the coin case. This allows us to gamble in the, uh... This allows us to gamble in the Celadon game core, which now we can go over the prizes you can basically get. I'm, I, I'm gonna demonstrate the Celadon game corner, but I'm not really gonna be going for any of the prizes. But, uh, the prizes you can get are, um, depending on version also. But, uh, you can get Dratini. Dratini is a higher price in the blue version. And, uh... Scyther, that would be Pinsir in the blue version, and Porygon's 9,999 uh, coins. So, uh, and then you can get Abra, Clefairy, Nidorina, and, uh, I forget exactly what this contains, but this contains, uh, TM Tor. I think one of these is Hyper Beam, so if you have some time to kill, maybe go for that TM, but I'm not, I'm only really gonna demonstrate the uh, game I'm not really gonna go all in, but, um, now, um, how the game works, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna purchase 50 coins so I can kind of demonstrate this. Yeah, it's a thousand dollars for 50 coins. So if you have a lot, if you have a lot of money, you can just go straight and get a Dratini. But I don't really want to, I'm not really interested in using a Dratini on my team. But, uh, one thing you want to do is that you want to find which of these slots are good ones. So, um, basically, uh, you gotta t kind of test your luck. So, uh, one, two, three, not this time. One, two, three. You basically gotta get a match and, uh... One, two, three, not this time, and uh, one, two, three. Yeah, this doesn't look like a winner. So some of these uh, slots are gonna contain winners, let's just say, where they're, con they're more consistent. But so one, two, three, and we got 15 coins. So yeah, every time you score up a row, you basically get uh, a gain in uh, points. But uh, yeah, I guess that we'll get over the that now. I'm not really gonna go for any of the prizes, but um, However, we are going to face this rocket. I'm guarding this poster. Go away or else. Now, I'm actually using a... If you're wondering why my microphone sounds a little bit different this part, I'm I'm using new mixing settings really quick. I'm using, I'm using new VST plugins. So, uh... I'm hoping this turns out to a more crisp microphone. But anyway, so, um... Thankfully, though, our, uh... Jolteon knows Thunderbolt. So, uh... Even though it learns Thundershock by leveling up, it does not learn Thunderbolt by leveling up. And, uh... Yeah, and even one shot this Raticate. So, yeah... Even though we have two team members that are lower in level than what we have uh, with our other Pokemon, we're still pretty over level for this part of the game. Now I want to see um, if I can try to get these Pokemon up for a few more levels, and uh, we actually uh, should be almost level 28. Um, our hideout must be discovered. I must I better tell boss. Anyway, so I uh, get this, and uh, hey. A switch behind the poster. Let's push it. Anyway, so um, yeah, I want to. Uh, we can, this is the set. This is the the rocket hideout. So um, for you now, I, want, I actually just want to get a TM that's down here that'll be helpful for later. And uh, Rocket wants to fight, and Rocket sent out Drowsy. So yeah. They're gonna contain like psychic. They're gonna also. I guess rockets kind of have a mix between like poison and psychic types. However, um, I could try thunderbolt, but drowsy's got pretty good phys special defense, so it's a little bit of a. Uh, yeah, I didn't really. Su it survived it, but uh, we are faster in this thing. But quick attack pretty much just guarantees we go first. So um, we get a critical hit, really. Anyway, so Franklin's level twenty-eight. We're gonna try to see if we can get Franklin up to like level thirty. Um. And maybe try to see if we can get a uh, Doduo up to level 30. Now, um, if we can't evolve Doduo in this uh, part, we're gonna, we're gonna definitely in the Celadon gym. And we have feared Rocket. So, uh, oh, beaten. Um. Anyway, so I actually want to get some, grab something down here. I think uh, actually no, I'm thinking of a completely different area. 
So I fought that trainer for basically nothing, but uh, I know there's a TM in this area I want to get, but uh, just fight this rocket right here. Boss said you can see ghosts with the self scope. Anyway, so uh, Rocket wants to fight, and Rocket sent out a uh, Zubat. So yeah, a uh, Zubat against a Jolteon. Yeah, it's like putting a, uh, it's like putting a, uh, it's like putting like uh, Steve Urkel against Conor McGregor. I don't know where that comparison came from, but uh. Now, when you fight coughings, uh, where you're on Gnosis support in the game, you're gonna start getting a good load of XP because, uh, I don't know, for some reason, like, coughing's just a really defensive tank, so. Yeah, that gave us 414 XP, so, uh, Grimers don't really give as much XP. Plus, I also should point out something. I've heard a lot of criticism over the years of some of the later Pokemon games, like, particularly, like, black and white, of, like, having, like, the vanilla with the ice cream Pokemon, having, like, the garbage Pokemon. I feel a lot of that criticism also comes from Gen 1ers. So, um, yeah, uh, Pidgey is just a bird. Grimer is just a piece of sludge. And on top of that, um, Bolt Orb and Electrode are just Pokeballs. So, uh, yeah, uh, I really just hate the Gen 1er argument of, uh, ugh, I get, this Pokemon looks disgusting. It's like Generation 1 had its bad Pokemon designs too. Anyway, so I surrender. Anyway, so well, how close is uh, Franklin to level? Oh, 307 XP. So, uh, yeah, we actually want to go here first. Uh, actually, we don't want to go here first. We want to go over here. I think this is where I'm thinking of that has the TM. We got word from upstairs that you were coming. And how did you get that wording? Ah, <laughs> Pokemon. All right, so, um... Anyway, so uh, I, I guess I just explained it. But anyway, so uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're actually almost at a PP for Thunderbolt. So I don't know how much longer we're gonna raise our Jolteon for. And frankly, we're to level 29. Let's try to see if we can get our uh, Hawkwind up a level. I think one more level, one or two more levels is gonna learn Drill Puck. I also taught it Fly, so uh, Fly is a small chance of missing, but, um, doesn't matter. And we if he had Rocket. Sorry, I got back here the hiccups. Anyway, so if we go down here, we get TM10, which is, uh, we get TM10, which is, uh, double edge. So... I'm th when it comes to who I'm going to teach this to, however, um, Peach is going to learn Double Edge by leveling up. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to teach it to Hawkwind. And uh, I guess we'll get rid of... Um, I guess we'll get rid of Growl. But uh, yeah, I, I guess if we... Uh, since uh, Drodrio is mostly offensive, if we, have a, if we give it a move like Double Edge, it'll be a really solid... It'll be pretty solid, let's just say. And on top of that... Uh, Yodu is also a pretty solid flying type. So, uh, how close is Hawkwind will level up? Okay, 187. So, let's just, uh... I guess what we'll do is, uh... I think there's a rare can... I did not mean to go that way. I think there is a rare candy down to that bo bottom right. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab that rare candy. I'm gonna give it to, uh, Franklin to get him to level 30. And, uh... Pressy. I think it also in one more level, uh, Hawkwind learns Drill Pack, which will be part of its final moveset. So will uh, Double Edge and Fly. So we have a good majority of our, uh, we have a good majority of Hawkwind's final moveset. But anyway, get you level 30. One more, one more uh, level up. I think Jolteon will learn something. Better. I'm going to try to see if I can get Hawkwind up a couple more levels. I think level 30, it learns Drill Pack. So, uh, very solid move also. I think it's one of the best flying types in the game. Probably the best. Because it has higher it has higher base power than fly, and it's more accurate than fly, so. Anyway, so we actually want to get the lift key so we can use the elevator. But I'm think I'm gonna go fight a trainer right here. Stop 
meddling in Team Rocket's affairs. Anyway, so, um... Anyway, so Rocket wants to fight, and Rocket sent out Radida. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, let's see, uh, unfortunately, though, we're not gonna have very much, uh, HP, but let's try to see, oh, it's, uh, it used Quick Attack, but, uh, he only did 10 damage, but, uh, as long as Fly doesn't miss, we'll be able to get these thing up a couple of levels. And, uh, uh, level 29. Level 30, I think it, it's two levels away from evolving, and on top of that, I think at level 30, it learns Drill Pack, so, uh... Yeah, Doduoth is probably my favorite flying type to use in this game, even though I've used Firo a lot. Uh, Firo's also good, but, uh, oh, it missed, but, uh, Firo's also good, but, uh, I prefer Dodrio. And Drowsy, so, uh, you know, Drowsy's got, uh, horrible, let's test out Double Edge. It didn't survive it, so, uh, we, we, the problem with Double Edge only is that you get hit with recoil damage, but, uh, how close is Hawkwind to level 30? Because we do have to fight one more trainer. Ah, oh, not too bad, actually. We'll just get this thing level 30. We'll learn Drill Pack. I don't think, it'll, I don't think it's going to evolve, though. Um, it might, and we're over level for this part of the game. So, even with two new team members. So, um... And, uh, this is a Sky Attack, I think. Uh, let me just double check. I'm not gonna give it to any of my Pokemon, but I'm just gonna double check. I think it's Sky Attack. It's Razor Wind, actually, but either way, I'm not gonna give that to any of my Pokemon. Sky Attack's the one you get at the very end of the game. I got that mixed up. Elevator doesn't work. Who has the lift key? That's your strong hint for this part of the game. Anyway, so Rocket wants to fight, and Rocket sent out Coughing. So yeah, um. If we can get Hawkwind up one more level, it'll learn uh, Drill Pack. So if two more levels, it evolves. So that's also solid. And uh, I think it's gonna also, uh, it's not gonna evolve just yet. It's not gonna get to level 30 just yet. One more trainer will probably get to level 30. So uh, I can always just use Dig to get back to the Pokemon Center, but uh, I know we are very old. We're still very over level and we're halfway through this game. So, uh, we have five out of six team members and, uh, oh no, I dropped the lift key and, uh, we have the lift key. And, uh, what we're going to do is, uh, find the elevator, which is all the way upstairs. We have to kind of, um, then we're going to take this up here and this, we're just back to the beginning, but, um, you have to tackle this area first and, uh, Uh, I think if this one, yeah, this one you go up. There's something up top, uh, up top right, but I forget what it is. I think it's a moonstone, which we already have three of those, but I'm um, pretty sure it's a moonstone. So, uh, yeah, that's basically all the moonstones we've gotten in the whole game. Is it a moonstone? It's a nugget, actually. So, uh, yeah, we'll sell that and get some good money. I do plan on showing the missing no glitch, but, oh, there's the moonstone, but uh, I do plan on showing the missing no glitch eventually, but I'm not gonna catch missing no because I find it too risky. And on top of that, I am not going to uh, use it to spam rare candies. I have different plans with that. And TM07 contains Horn Drill. Uh, Horn Drill is interesting because if you're faster than said Pokemon, Horn Drill will instantly knock it out. And if you're slower than it, it'll not, it'll never work. So uh, it's not really a move I like to use though. It mainly, it's mainly like a move you teach like a Rhyhorn. And even that Rhyhorn is a very slow Pokemon. So it's like not really worth it in my opinion. I just went in a circle. Anyway, so back where we were, we just gotta uh, not get up there. So, uh, it's been a while since I've done this also. So, uh, we gotta go down. Then we just gotta, you just gotta watch where the arrows go. God, that would really make me motion sick, mo mo motion sick and all that. And, uh, yeah, we just gotta, uh, 
I think it's the top floor we have to go to. So we just gotta go to a basement, basement one. I'm pretty sure it's this floor. It's actually not this floor. But hey, one more train will get me uh, a level up, but a uh, Grimer. I think it's actually basement four you have to go to. So uh, let's just fly up and we should be almost, uh, we almost, it'd be really nice if uh, Hawkwind evolves in this one part because uh, if it does, We'll go to the Celadron gym, which is all grass type. We'll just obliterate that gym with a, with a, uh, if we have a freaking Dodrio on our team. Let's just fly. Thankfully, Fly isn't missing all the time because Fly isn't 100% accurate. Let's just peck it to save uh, PP for Fly. So there we go. Come on, level 30. There we go. And I uh, should learn a uh, drill pack. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna replace Peck with that. So uh So Drill Peck is probably my favorite move for a flying type. So uh Drill Peck is 100 percent accurate and I think it has more power than uh fly. So it's definitely uh one of the best moves you can give to a flying type. Firo also learns it, but Pidgey and Pidgey or Pidgey unfortunately does not learn Drill Peck. Another disadvantage it has against Pidgey. Okay, this is where you wanna go. How can you not see the beauty of our evil? Now, one more level, Hawkwind is going to evolve. So I'm gonna try to see if we can uh, do that. Rocket wants to fight. Ignore any dog barking that's going in the background. Anyway, so sorry for the cut footage. I had to put my friggin' dog in her crate because uh, she kept barking during the recording. My dog fucking loves, knows when I'm about to record and like she just barks at neighbors anyway. But um, but yeah. My viewers don't want to hear that. I even have like noise canceling like VSCs. Sometimes her barks just still make the recordings and like I, I, I can adjust this in the editing, but you always want to get it right in the first take. But we're going to use Drill Pack. So uh, Drill Pack is one of the best moves in the game, in my opinion. It's got, or at least for a flying type and uh, it's going to have an, oh, an Arbok. Uh, this is the first time I've seen one of these. We might even evolve actually. Oh shit, all right, we didn't. Arbok can no glare, which can uh, paralyze you. We're gonna see his fury attacks and shits and giggles. Anyway, so I think we're almost about to evolve this thing. So what we're gonna do is uh, fight this uh, other trainer. Anyway, so what we're gonna do now is, uh, yeah, he's gonna have, uh, he's gonna have a Sandshrew and Ekans and a Sand Slash. So, uh, thankfully ground attacks can't affect a uh, uh, Doe Duo, so. And we are level one, le we're gonna evolve because we're one level away from evolving. Yeah, ground attacks don't affect uh, Doe Duo. And uh, Ekans, so as long as we don't get poisoned. I guess the only problem I have with uh, Dodo is that it's got really low HP, so uh, that is kind of a problem. Like 64 HP for a level 30 Pokemon ain't, ain't very good, but um... All right, Sand Slash. If we can take out the Sand Slash, we'll probably evolve. Ooh, and that was a critical hit, but uh, yeah, Sand Slash actually hit that. Well, let's just, uh, of course, of course. Okay, right, doesn't know. let's just... You know what, Fury Attack guarantee almost up as a chance. Oh my God. Oh my God, no, no. There goes that plan, but um, I, I'm gonna fucking like, if that was like inches away from evolving, all right, go Peach. How close was that fucking thing to evolving? I, I think it would have evolved if we, if we did not get sand attacked, but uh, how close would it have been? It would have been, uh, yeah, it would have evolved. We would have evolved at this part if we had not even hit with sand attack. So yeah, let's, uh, we're gonna have to wait till Erica's gym, but um, we're actually gonna switch out for a bit. Uh, we're gonna, uh, because we're actually gonna fight some of the specialists in ground types. And this is, uh, so I must say, I'm impressed you got here. Anyway, so this right here is uh, Giovanni, and uh, Giovanni is going to have an Onyx. 
Gonna have level 25 arms. We're still very over leveled for this part of the game. We are like five levels ahead of this on it. I think even as highest level we're ahead of level two. So uh, yeah, Rhyhorn. So uh, Rhyhorn is interesting because it's, it's a physical wall and definitely one of the best physical Pokemon in the game. It's really slow and it has bad special defense. So yeah. I've heard Rhydon be called one of the best Pokemon in Gen 1, but uh, it's mainly just a physical wall and that's mainly it. But uh, I don't know, I've, I've never actually used, uh, I don't think I've ever actually used a uh, Rhydon on my team because you have to evolve at like level 41 or something. It's level 41, 42, but uh, anyway, this is a Kangaskhan, which is a Pokemon we cannot encounter for la till later. But uh, now uh, we're gonna try to see, uh, now he's gonna have a rage combo, which will upper the attack, but uh, if we can paralyze, Body Slam has a 100% oh, 10 chance of paralyzing. So unfortunately we're not gonna paralyze this thing, but uh, let's see if this can get Peach up a level. Did not, but uh, now um, I see that you raise Pokemon with ultimate care. Child with you and never under understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. So what we're gonna do now is uh, Take the Sylph Scope. You need the Sylph Scope, and I'll go why in a bit, but uh, we're gonna use Monimal to dig out of this place. So yeah, that was uh, this part of Pokemon Red. So next time on Pokemon Red, we're gonna go and tackle the uh, Celadon Gym. See you guys then.